Governor Charlie Baker wants to limit the earned sick time state workers can cash out with. 22 News State House reporter Tiffany Chan joins us from Boston to reveal how the system is being abused. The unions are frustrated by Governor Baker's efforts to limit the accrual of sick time. They argue it's not the frontline workers who are cashing out big checks upon retirement, it's the high level administrators. Governor Charlie Baker filed a bill to cap sick leave for state employees at no more than 1,000 hours, equal to six months of work. That's because some have accrued enough sick time to allow the checks to keep coming for months and even years after retirement. It's crucial that we're not allowing these abuses in state government because the taxpayers are paying for them, especially when they hear about lucrative payout deals to people to the tune of half a million dollars. Former South Hadley Electric Light Department manager Wayne Dorfels claimed he was owed more than $450,000 for his unused vacation days and sick time. He ultimately got $18,000. The National Association of Government Employees testified against the bill Wednesday, arguing that it's those in high-level positions who are abusing the sick time benefit. A vast majority of state employees use their sick leave when they are sick, period. They bank this sick leave in case something drastic happens. Any employee should not need two, three, four, five, ten years of sick leave time accrued. The Baker administration said the proposal would save taxpayers three and a half million dollars in sick time payouts each year. Speaker of the House Robert DeLeo admits there are problems with the current sick time policy, but he doubts there will be a solution for it this legislative session. At the State House in Boston, Tiffany Chan for 22 News.